Let's see. Wow. I don't want to head blocks. Yo, Nick, what up, my boy? What's good? Just doing a little Sunday routine, man. Checking out some information. Brad, what's up, my dude? How y'all brothers feeling today, man? So fit the process, pull up some of this down. Yo, y'all check this out. Pornhub subsidiary tube eight wants to pay you cryptocurrency to watch porn i've been good man been chilling man staying out of the way cooling um just relaxing man doing my little one two here and there on twitter youtube you know how it is man relaxing working Working on my little projects, my little side projects outside of the, you know, crypto and all that other good stuff. Risk getting tired just thinking about that. <laughs> Yo, you talk about this, this, uh, this site. <laughs> I mean, this news. Vice industry token tax attention and adult entertainment. What kind of sh How you been, Rat? I just decided to go live real quick, man. Just a little, little quick stream slash vlog. Vlog, excuse me. Supplementation. So, I mean, you know, cryptocurrency and porn. It's a great, it's a match made in heaven for everybody. You know, who wants to be discreet with their, uh, you know, with their their subscriptions and stuff like that. I think that's that'll work. Um, I personally have no description. I mean, subscriptions. But uh, listen, no shade thrown, man. But I remember getting paid to watch porn as always was a pipe dream. What I always dream about. Uh, however, that knowing me, Prague is hot right now. How's you? Oh man, it, it's um, <clears throat> it's been hot as hell these past. Well, this past week has been hot as hell, but it's been raining the past couple of days, um, and I think all this week is supposed to be like in the eighties, which is pretty good. Can't complain about that. Things need to cool down, you know. <laughs> yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. Just for the simple fact that you know, I don't know what the hell this vice industry token is. I researched that a little bit, but you know, I mean, let me see what's up with this joint, man. No shade thrown, man. Sometimes y'all get your fifty shades on. You feel me? Fifty shades of crypto. That's what we gonna call that. Uh, okay. But like I said, you know, I know a lot of people. Like when uh, what was it Pornhub who made that big announcement when they did the whole Verge and you know, a lot of people. I wonder how many people use that. I wonder how many people use cryptocurrency for porn subscriptions. That's interesting. Uh, that's pretty neat. So I'm just doing my little routine. Like I said, my little... Uh, see what's going on with the market. Crypto skeptic Paul Krugman says Bitcoin has more. No, I don't want none of that. There's more complete pitch. Oh, excuse me. There's more utility than Google. The recent blocks went down to join from straight gold found its home to Ripple's chief marketing strategies. So money. How's the weather where you at, Nick? What y'all think about the market last week, man? What y'all think about Ethereum Classic? Hopping on Coinbase. Before this day, we had a little future. So Krugman, uh, he admitted that despite his concern that Bitcoin mining uses a lot of energy, 
The leading cryptocurrency already has more utility than gold. Gold is dead. Bitcoin has more utility than gold. There is some chance for Bitcoin to be valuable in the future. Where are you from again, Nick? When compared to Bitcoin's utility compared to fiat, we said a major issue caused the transaction used trans Bitcoin. Those fees reduced and it will move his primary opposition to cryptocurrency. Man, everybody trying to get on the crypto board, man. ETC was the pro You know what? You know why? I'm I'm kind of not surprised at it though because you know when they made the announcement, yeah he's a he's a he's a dweeb man. Eric, you ever you ever pay attention to how many people who trash crypto are all so slowly but surely putting their foots in their mouths and trying to you know act like they never trash crypto whatever. Um. Oh okay, damn I know it's probably hot as hell over there. Yeah, so I'm not kind of surprised about the whole e e Ethereum Classic thing on Coinbase for the simple fact that when Coinbase made that announcement that they were going to be implementing ER, was it ERC20 tokens? I think that's what they're called. I got it. Like, my sinus is a kick in my ass. Um, when they said uh, they was going to be adding the ERC20 co uh, tokens, you know, it's off the Ethereum uh, blockchain. It's a ton of them, man. It's it's a lot of them, man. And they already have Ethereum on the platform. So Ethereum Classic was kind of not, not a surprise to me at all. You know, I do expect, you know, more. I expect more uh, more of the ERC-20 tokens to be added by the end of the year. People still speculating Ripple, but I, I don't know, man. Somebody asked him, do I think if it's going to go up? And I said, honestly, if you think about it, and yeah, I just made a video not too long ago in regards to, you know, the whole uh, ETC uh, movement on Coinbase. When when slowly but surely when people are starting to get into cryptocurrency, you know, they, they're going to... Coinbase, unfortunately, is the first... Uh, exchange that people are, I find that is Coinbase is the first exchange people are introduced to if they're not like you know fully invested in cryptocurrency um, that's the first exchange they utilize and you know people who are just getting the game they probably heard through word of mouth so you know if they do any kind of Google search you know with um, how to purchase cryptocurrency I'm quite sure Coinbase is gonna gonna pop up you know so then they're gonna be like, you know, what's the cheapest? You know what I'm saying? When you look at it, for someone who don't know about cryptocurrency, and then you go to Coinbase and be like, okay, I see Bitcoin's this price, Bitcoin Cash this price. Um, what is it? Uh, Ethereum, Litecoin. Do you now you got Ethereum Classic? They're gonna pick the cheapest of the, you know, the coin, the token. So. It, I, I, I'm just based off of that information, you know what I'm saying? This is like brand new people trying to get in the, well, getting into cryptocurrency. They're going to pick the cheapest one. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I think, the, you know, the the math behind all that is, is there. You feel me? So it is what it is. That's why I think the price will go up. Now, the use case of it, does it have a real use case? Who knows? But, um... What is this? So I have issues. I got issues with Ripple too, bro. Listen, when I first got into cryptocurrency, um, I thought Ripple was major, man. Ripple, Ripple was like, okay, I was really, really excited about Ripple, and I, I wanted to get some. You know what I'm saying? I was hunting it down. Then I finally got some. I think Ledger, you need like 25 Ripple before you can like to open the account. I believe Ledger, you need 25 Ripple to even create the account. And then anything after the 25 was would it be a held accounted, uh, will be accounted for in your wallet. Now, if you cash out all your Ripple, you don't get that 25 initial, that initial, like, I think it's like 20 or 25, uh, uh, Ripple. You don't get that back. You feel me? Unless the price drops or the price increases and then, you know, they pull that requirement back. You know what I'm saying? Then it is what it is. You feel me? So after that and then when i started to do some more research about it i started to see ripple then i started to see xrp then the differences and then how the company is pushing more towards the technology based on the actual currency which i get it but then you never hear 
about nobody really utilizing um, XRP. You know what I'm saying? Then they had the whole bullshit. Um, who's the Aston Kutcher on the Ellen DeGeneres show giving her a bunch of fucking ripple that where's she gonna use it at? You feel what I'm saying? Whatever, man. So I got out of that shit. Uh, fuck. Uh, more about some eighty eight with these prices being so hot. Yeah, ADA, ADA is one of the ones. Listen, when I first got an ADA and uh, Stellar, I like Stellar too. I'm going to get back in some alts, and I might get back into it soon, but I'm definitely going to get back in some alts. But um, I cashed all my alts out and got straight when the Bitcoin Litecoin. Is there a place to buy ADA with fiat or still have to buy with BTC? Um, I'm Right now, I don't think so. I think that uh, Binance is supposed to be doing like a... Um, a fiat trade, but they haven't done it yet. They haven't implemented. Once they do that, Coinbase is gonna be out of the question, man. Um, honestly, I wouldn't even do BTC. I probably do see if uh, ADA and LTC is a trading pair. It'll get there quicker and it'll be cheaper. Uh, get mine at Binance. So still with BTC. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if um if there's. I think there's a trading pair with e, e, uh, LTC. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. But BTC, yeah, through Binance. But double check the trading pairs. You might be able to get with LTC or even Ethereum. Um, the way I understand that tokens already exist, there's no mining or work involved. Exactly, and that's the thing I don't like about Ripple, man. It's like if you think about it, they're the way they the way they do. They just create it out there. Like look at the money. Look at look at fiat. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody just prints f fucking trillions of dollars or whatever, and then they say, oh yeah, you guys get to spend this money. So, LTC to um, ADA may be uh, quicker, cheaper for you. I would try that. It's definitely going to be quicker because BTC, you know, takes a minute. But um, I would definitely try that. But, yeah, I may I, I may buy some O's this week. I'm not sure. I'm still waiting. I'm still anticipating a drop, actually, for um, the uh, cryptocurrency, all the, all the tokens and stuff. I'm still anticipating a drop soon. I don't know when, but soon. I think, you know, once we get a nice, you know, pullback, um, that's when we're going to catapult to a pretty good, decent uh, amount of steps forward. But, yeah. Yeah, no problem, man. Let me know how you make out. What other coins you got, Nick? What other coins you invested in? You too, Rad. What other, what other coins you got invested in? I know we had this conversation plenty of times before, but... My mind's trying to blink. Like I said, this sinus infection is kicking my ass. So what was this bit condo with cryptocurrency do? The future of Ripper Estate. It's only a matter of time, man. These these people act like they don't know what's going on. They need to change every aspect of real estate from title lending to sale. Here we go. Blockchain, uh, blockchain, blockchain, and cryptocurrency really has the ability to change every aspect of real estate. I'm looking on that screen because, uh, whatever, fuck it. Um, has the ability to change every aspect of real estate from titles to lending to the brokerage itself. Jim Marion, a Boulder real estate agent with Caldwell, Coldwell Banker. Um, Ethereum, BTC, LCBC. Uh, most of the time, I've seen 99 percent LTC. Okay, I never, uh, I never got into the whole Bitcoin Cash thing, and you know, I don't. At the end of the day, you, I may joke around with like shit talking coins, man, but you know, at the end of the day, I, I believe people should. When people do your own research, you know what I'm saying, and you, and you like something about a, a coin or a project or whatever, you go for it. I got um right now I just got the BTC and I got the uh, LTC, um, I think I still might have some Ethereum. All my alts I got rid of, man. I got rid of um. Let me see what else did I have. I had, well you heard I had Rip. I got rid of that quickly. I got um I had Stellar ADA, um, Nano Neo. I think it was Neo. Um shit, what else? I gotta remember. Let's see. I did have some EOS. I actually got into that. I actually, right before it dropped is when I sold that. 
Cardan, well, ADA is the same shit. Um, yeah, that's most. Hey, uh, what you just said, niggas, most one of the most important things in anything, man. Never put all your eggs in one basket. Tron, oh yeah, I remember I had Tron. Uh, what else did I have? I don't think I had any. Oh, I had V Chain, and it was another one down here, down here. I had some Z Cash. I do want to get back in Z Cash. What was it? It was Z Chain, V Chain, and um, what the fuck was it? I don't remember. Oh shit, what was that? I never got some Digi, but I do want to get some Digi. Icon, I had some Icon. Damn, that shit down to sixty five cents. How much is that V Chain again? Yo, uh, this no, this this can't be right. This nah nah nah. This can't be right. V chain is not a penny. Yo, V chain is a penny, yo. Damn. Hold up, man. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, man. Hold on. I need to go to the, the year chart. I got to I got to see something. This can't be the right. Uh, why can't I click on this? Nah, nah. Hold up. Hell no, that can't be right. My bad. I'm. I'm. I gotta do this. I gotta look at this real quick, man. What we in August, right? Let me go back to May. Fuck. We go to May twenty seven. Bruh, look at this shit, yo. May 27th of this year, V-Chain, and I actually really like V-Chain too. V-Chain was $3.50. Bruh, we're, we're Icon. Icon was two fifty seven. I remember I was going back and forth with them. Nah, nah, bruh. Hold up, man. Go get out of here. I need to go. Hold on, hold on, man. There we go. I please, I'm, I can't be reading that right. Yo, that shit is a penny, yo. Oh my goodness, yo. Oh man. Yo, that's crazy. And what was Icon again? Yo. Y'all see this shit? Wow. Yo, that's crazy, yo. Wow. Like going up $58. When the market took a dump, bet it wiped out a bunch. Yo. I didn't, yo, honestly, damn, where the hell I been at, yo? I didn't know it dropped that much, yo. God damn, yo, that's ridiculous. Yo. Wow. Wow. Yo, that's crazy, man. Damn, yo, that... Yo, if I'd have still had those two coins, yo, I'd have got wrecked so hard, yo. What's that icon? Wow. Yo, that's crazy, yo. Rad said, Dent, Fun, POE, and LTC. Dent. It's not that dental coin, is it, uh, Rad? Where's that at? Why am I doing it? I could just type this shit in. Verge down to a penny. I knew that shit was really going to do me. See a coin. I was at one point interested in that. I remember Nano. Nano was like, what? Wasn't Nano trading like 50 bucks? I mean 50. Like 15 bucks at one point? Let me see. Yo, that's... Yo. Yo, that's crazy, yo. We were, we were, we were May 20... Where we at? May 27. What was... What was... Nano... 
Wait, I can look on this. Nah, see the, the words is in the way, so I gotta look on the screen. Nah, nah, where you at? 416. But before that, that joint was up. What the hell? What the hell I just did, yo? Oh, man, I just... So right before that, I don't know, my internet's bugging. But anyway, yo, that's crazy. Yeah, that's true. Everybody do need their teeth looked after. Yo, damn. What's did you buy that right now? I do want to get some of that. Two cents. I mean, I know it's rounded to three, but it's two cent Dogecoin. Bro, yo, how y'all feel about that though, man? Like, what is it the same way y'all feel like how you know with other all cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Litecoin when the market drops, like, man, you get wrecked. Like, how do you feel about that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I don't, I don't care. Listen, and, and people need to keep it real. And this is the part I don't like about people, especially on the internet, man. People want to play this fucking tough game. And be like, oh well, you know, uh, I, the pro I'm not worried about the price. I'm not worried about the price. I'm not worried about the Listen, I say that shit too, and technically, I'm, I'm probably about eighty percent not worried about the price, um, and that's because I believe in the technology. But my mindset when I came in the game is completely different too, and it got a lot to do with, you know, me being in the tech field. You understand what I'm saying? But listen. I, 20, I'm going to say probably like 70%. 30, 20, 30%, I'm pissed off. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm, a, I'm annoyed. Maybe not pissed off, but I'm, I am upset. You know what I'm saying? And I remember a friend of mine came to me one day, and this is when I first got in the game, and, and this is when uh, Litecoin and everything took the massive, uh, the massive pump. And Litecoin was at damn near $400. And a friend of mine came to me. I was, like, excited and shit. I had just got in, like, probably, like, mid to late November. You know what I'm saying? And a friend of mine was like, yo, so yo, you got to take something off for the profit. I'm like, no. Hell no. I'm like, I'm going to let this thing go up. So then sometimes, you know, once in a while, that shit gets back to me. It's like, yo, should I have took some profit? You know what I'm saying? Because right now, Litecoin, man, Litecoin is shit right now. All these joints is shit right now. You feel me? If you didn't get in at a certain time. You know what I'm saying? Made me wish I pulled out some dough and set aside for a rain day. I can respect that. Hold long term for sure. Risk what you can lose. But with the prices now, we're dropping a little more on a few odds. Yeah, I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? And and it, it does go back to... But see, that's the thing too. Like It goes back to you know, never invest more than what you can afford to lose. You feel what I'm saying? And the money I put in the cryptocurrency is like, eh, whatever. All my, um, excuse me, all my coins are not even on, ex I don't keep my coins on exchanges, period. You know what I'm saying? But my stuff is on my, uh, my ledger, nanos. And, um, but it's the principle. You feel me? How y'all feel about that? You know, it's like rainy day being when the market is like this and die back in. Exactly. Like having a couple of dollars, not necessarily to spend and go splurge on something, but just having a couple extra bucks. So you're like, okay. I'm going to put this aside so if the market does dip, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have a couple of dollars on the side so I can reinvest that money and, and, and maybe possibly even get some coins you, you've been wanting to get that you ain't have a chance to get. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like reinvest the, the profit. You know what I'm saying? Go into somewhere else possibly or, you know, when the market drop, say you want to buy more Litecoin, more Bitcoin or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? But it's all about the mindset people come in the game with. And a lot of people don't understand that. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people, if, nobody likes to lose money. You know what I'm saying? And I always say it's because, you know, it's like, you know, I don't I don't gamble, right? Some can argue this is gambling, stocks are gambling, whatever. But going into like a casino and, and, and putting in money to a machine, I, I don't do that. You know what I mean? If I do, like when I go to Vegas next month, right? I'm going to throw literally $20 in the machine just to say I did it. I'm in Vegas. It's going to be my second time being in Vegas or whatever. And I'm putting in probably $20. Now, my wife, on the other hand, she sets money aside. And, you know, this is her. This That's her thing. That's what she does. 
I don't knock it because she budget. She's she's great on you know on the financial tip. You know what I'm saying? And she knows what she's going to spend and what she's not. You know what I'm saying? So she's good like that. Me, on the other hand, I'm not a gambler. I can't do that shit. I can't sit here and and put money. I don't care. Keep it a hundred. Fiat is what we're using right now. You feel what I'm saying? Until we can sit here and go in any store or make a purchase from any store, whether it's online, whether it's in person, with cryptocurrency, unfortunately, we are forced to use the government issue funds. And that's the dollar bill, the US dollar. I'm just kicking facts. You feel what I'm saying? I'm keeping it in the hundred. Like, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit y'all. Y'all know I'm not going to bullshit y'all, man. I'm keeping it 100. We forced right now, we're in the United States, we're in the world right now where we have to use whatever um, currency that that country is using at that time. Until we can go in and flash our phone and be like, here, I'm going to pay for, here, shit, let me, let, me, let me use my Bitcoin wallet, let me use my, my loaf wallet, let me use, you know what I'm saying? Um, hold on one second. Let me let me use all right. Until we can do that, we gotta spend fiat, and I'm not burning the fiat like that. You feel what I'm saying? Crypto hippie, uh, crypto hippie, what's up, my boy? Stigeon, what's up, my boy? Long time no see, man. Thanks for coming to check your boy out. Like I said, I'm just doing a quick little quick stream vlog, man. Chilling, hanging out with you guys. You already know how to do. We just we just talking about the market, man. Just the market in general. Everybody stance on it. I just hit a, a, a shocker, man, because we I was just looking at the the currencies and shit. V chain, what was it like? In May, it was trading like three fifty. That shit is a penny now, yo. Look at this shit. That's crazy. Um, I haven't heard yet, but see the thing. The thing with look at this though, cryptocurrency. Like last month, we was at like just over seventeen hundred, or not maybe last two months ago, three months ago even. We was looking at um, damn, I'm sending share for a minute. Uh, so over seventeen hundred different cryptocurrencies. Right now we're at eighteen hundred and fifty five. That's ridiculous, yo. Um, oh well, at least this morning. Well, since I when I recorded my video, um, the market was at like two fourteen. Is at two seventeen now, seventeen billion or whatever. Abra, Abra, I haven't heard them. About, I haven't heard about them adding different coins. Um, I'm hoping that you know, in the, in the near future, that Abra will allow us to not go go by that whole synthetic coin um model, and that we actually can purchase you know whatever coin they offer on there, such as Digibyte or whatever. And actually, that'll be a full blown Digibyte, and not have to convert that back to Litecoin or Bitcoin. If in case we want to transfer that to externally to you know like a, a some cold storage, so hopefully you know in this day and age and in the near future that can be possible. I know that's in the back of their minds. I already know, and you know you can play the swing trade game. I believe on those. I, I'm not. I don't do swing trading. I have done very minimum swing trading. Um. You know, but it is what it is. Just keep in mind that. If it's not Bitcoin or Litecoin, you cannot remove that. You can't send that to your cold storage or send it to like a, an exchange or whatever if it's not Bitcoin or Litecoin. So always keep that in the back of your mind. Um, same thing apparently with Robinhood. I was just ready to purchase some uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was ready to do a purchase of uh, you know Litecoin and Bitcoin on Robinhood, but I just found, I found out that they used the synth synthetic token model as well. So. So I'm going to be purchasing Litecoin, but I won't be able to transfer the Litecoin purchase on their platform to my, my Ledger Nano. So that's crazy, man. I uh, really didn't know that. Thanks. Yeah. If you if you ever look up, if you ever open your app, right? Um, Shit, I don't have my a cable to have to hook my phone up and show you guys. But maybe I can show you guys here. Hold on. If you don't have, um, say if you had ADA, what the hell? New price alerts. All right. Get what the hell? Get times for every referral. Use the link. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna tweet this out. I never did this before. It says get ten times for every referral. Fuck it. Um. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. So let's say Digibyte Exchange. 
withdraw. So perfect example right here. I don't know how clear you guys gonna be able to see this. Hold on. Oh shit. So if you look right there, right, you see that these are the only withdrawal options you have is either transfer to a bank, wire transfer to a bank account. Well, I think that's what it says. Use Bitcoin or use Litecoin. So any coin that you purchase, um, any any token that you purchase outside of Bitcoin or Litecoin on Abra, you cannot withdraw it unless you convert it to, unless you exchange it for either Bitcoin or Litecoin. So always keep that in mind. Um, I actually think I put a video out a while ago about the process with Abra and things like that. Like I said, it's not knocking the app because I think the app is great. Um, actually I use the app often, but for the simple fact that, you know, all the coins are synthetic, that's what, you know, kind of, that's what kind of gives you that, that, uh, that, eh, that annoying feeling, you feel me? So that's why it was such a big deal for, um, uh, for them to implement the, uh, Litecoin's, uh, was it smart contracts? Because now you can send, receive and withdraw Litecoin off from the app, just like Bitcoin. Remember when they first came out, they only had Bitcoin, so... Always keep that in mind. <sighs> Have been in mind, Bitcoin is broken. Damn, yo, I, yo, I can't get over that, man. I really can't get over that. Shut up, my Twitter. I ain't been on Twitter in a minute. So yeah. I still have a Coinbase account. I haven't used it yet. Hold on one second. That's that two-step verification I'm telling you guys about. But yeah, man, that I know um What's this? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I just tweeted this, man. So my, my man was like, the arbitrary, the arbitrary fees are outrageous, higher than most exchange fees. I'll respond to that in a minute. Now, they did do a whole where you can purchase with, um, with debit cards, but then it takes you to, it takes you to, um, here, let me see something. It takes you to like another uh, third party website, man. And the, the fees are just ridiculous, yo. Hold on. Download. Hold on. I haven't been on this site in a while, so bear with me. Oh. Where the hell is it at? Oh, here I am. Right in front of my damn thing. I'm tripping. Buy Bitcoin with credit card. See, this is, you know, and, and the fee. The fee is uh, something. Let me double check the app, man. Because the fee is some something, something wild. I think it's like 8%. It's like eight percent when you when you try to buy with a debit or credit card. If I'm not mistaken, it could be just credit card too, but that fee is high. Now American Express, um, American Express charges you four percent. Yeah, Visa, Mastercard. Hold on. So here we go right here. So Visa MasterCard is 8% fee and it has to be a minimum of $11.50 a purchase. That's right here. I'm trying to get used to this camera shit. Hold on. You see it? Visa Visa MasterCard. So I mean I, I don't I don't recommend using like um like credit cards to buy cryptocurrency, man. And my theory behind that is like, okay, so if you say if you guys are buying like you know fifty fifty dollars worth of Bitcoin or whatever, and you say, okay, well, I bought fifty dollars and I'll just pay the fifty dollars back next month. But then unfortunate, you know, unfortunate things happen, and all of a sudden, you know, that fifty dollars turned to forty dollars, and 
thirty dollars or whatever, you still gotta pay that fifty dollars back to your credit card issuer. You feel what I'm saying? So nobody likes to see that. So that's why I'm like, you know what? Just use use that dirty fiat. Just use the dirty fiat. You ain't gotta go through all that. But um What the hell? Trying to see what's going on. But yeah, man, so, you know, I just want to touch base with y'all, man. Just, you know, my daily, I'm trying to do maybe like a, a Sunday Sunday stream, whatever. Um, this is laid back, chill, relax. Talk about what you guys want to talk about. Uh, if you guys got anything you want to talk about, let me know. Like, you guys got any questions or, you know, you guys want to discuss a topic, whatever, let me know. If not, then I'm about to hop up off of this joint, man. I may make another video later. I got a couple tweets to answer. And, um... I still got messages I got to answer, too. So, but other than that, man, like I said, I appreciate y'all coming to holler at your boy. And um, I think I may do, like I said, I think I may do this on a Sunday, man, every Sunday. I don't know if you guys see my vlogs, man. What y'all think about the vlogs? I plan on doing that, you know, a little bit more frequently because they're easy as hell to do. I'm doing them doing straight from my phone. I ain't got to do my setup. Say, oh, this shit I got to set up, man. The lights, the camera, the 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 green screen and all that other shit, man. It's a lot to set up, man, you know, and my the, the green screen I have is portable. Yo, John, what's up, my dude? Thanks for stopping by, brother. Um, The green screen I have is portable, but, you know, I don't keep it up. So, like, I'll, you know, I'll put it down and put it back up, man, you know. um, Yeah, yeah, no doubt, John, man, I appreciate it, man. You already know. Thanks, Nick, man. I appreciate it, man. You know, sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to do videos and stuff, you know, when you're trying to find, like, like topics and stuff like that, you know. And it's crazy because I used to care about, you know, my followers and stuff like that, how many followers I would have. And, you know, that, that really did a lot. You know, now it's like I don't even care. You know, it's like I'm going to put out what I want to put out. You feel me? So... I like it that way. I, I don't... I, that takes all the pressure out, you know? That takes all the pressure out of making sure I got to put certain videos for this certain audience and all this other shit. Like, you know, I'm going to get in that joint, man. Um, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a get to those topics and stuff like that. And you, you guys know I'm open to, you know, open to criticism and open to different things you guys want me to talk about, you know? But I feel comfortable flowing and not feel like I'm obligated to, to put a certain type of video out. You feel me? The Big Connect vlog was real. Oh, man. I couldn't believe that shit, yo. Speaking of that, I could not believe that shit, man. Hold up, man. Let me let me go on my YouTube real quick. I could not believe that, yo. This dude is still pumping. Wait, where the hell? He changed his name. Hold up. I forget. He changed some weird shit. Hold on. I couldn't believe he still was pumping his shit, man. I could not believe it. Hold on one second. Let me let me find this joint for y'all, man, because this shit was disgusting. Hold up. That shit was wild. I'm gonna find it for you. Hold on. Oh, oh, he did change his name back. All right. But look at this shit, yo. Proof Satoshi created BitConnect, um, uh, excuse me, BitConnect coin. I'm gonna go to this dude page real quick, man, because this shit is sickening. All right, whatever. BitConnect promoter arrested. 490th BitConnect, BitConnect progress report. Last chance to dump BitConnect coins. Blame YouTube for Bitcoin's price failure. Most recent Jones. He 
said he fumbled, but uh, whatever. Where the hell was that video that I just watched? It was it was a stream. I'll find it, man. But I can't. But this look at this shit, yo. Big Connect progress report. I couldn't believe this dude did that shit, man. I couldn't believe he did that. I couldn't believe he sat here. First of all, he 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 was talking about um. He was talking about okay, he's still buying Big Connect, right? Big Connect coins, and it was on one coin. It was like Trey Satoshi. I'm actually about to look that shit up real quick. Satoshi. I think this is the the last uh, the last token. I mean, the last exchange that you can buy this bullshit on. Like he was on here trying. He said he transferred some Ethereum, and he was trying to purchase some Big Connect coins. As a matter of fact, I think at the end of in the September they're going to stop supporting it. I need to search. Here we go. Look at this shit. They well, they're going to end it all soon. Sale orders. This probably was him right here buying his bullshit. But then the contradiction. Last chance to duck bit connect coins. Like, come on, man. This guy, man. What's up, guys? It's me. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Bon Jovi. It's time to and like I said, you know, no shade thrown, man. No shade thrown at all. Nah, fuck that. It is shade thrown because when I first came in the game, this was one of the guys that, you know what I mean, I, I looked at. Um, he, I, I guess he was like really popping at the time. So you know how you do your little searches and stuff like that. And his name came up on YouTube. I stay on YouTube anyway, so, you know, I started watching his videos, and I thought he was a cool dude, but I remember when he first bought this BitConnect shit up, and when I when I looked at the structure of the, the project and, you know, the whole lending platform and all that, it was some bullshit. It was some straight bullshit, man. I was like, I'm, eh, I'll pass on that, you know, and, you know, I'm glad I did because a lot of people got wrecked on that. He got wrecked too, but I don't know why he's trying to buy, you know what I'm saying? Last false video was in. Exactly. And, and that's the truth. And the stream I was looking at, you know, like I said, he was, he was, he was you know, his Ethereum was pending on a Trace Satoshi site, um, you know, in regards to, you know, trying to purchase his BitConnect or whatever, BitConnect coins, and all of a sudden, you know, he's making a video now, last chance to dump your BitConnect coins. That shit is ass, man. Like, now he's doing a video, he, in this video, he's going, he, the, the, the common the common theme of this here, go through Bitcoin first, check the price, then more than likely he'll go over to the whole BitConnect thing. I'm actually about to fast forward to this shit. I ain't even watch this bullshit, but it was, the shit was disappointing, man. I couldn't believe, like, and then... He dropped Steam it. I don't know what happened with him and Steam it. At one point, he was promoting Steam it like crazy, but then you know what I'm saying. He, oh, man, I just lost respect for this dude, man. You know what I mean? And and I was one of the main people who was like, you know what? You, he didn't make people buy Big Connect. Did he use some manipulation in his tactics? I wouldn't argue if he did. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. You know, people who look up to people like this, you know what I'm saying, and 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 they want to they they want to be the next person. They want to be that person that they look up to. You know what I'm saying. So unfortunately, you know what I mean. Those people haven't had must have not got burnt yet in life. They must have not got burnt by following somebody else's uh, footsteps or find somebody else's uh, the way they move. This is why I tell people: do not follow what people do because what works, like for example, what works for me may not work for you guys. And vice versa. So, and that's the part of the manipulation piece. You know what I mean? So people know they have a, a major influence. You see a guy who, and it's crazy, this guy still has over 123,000 subscribers. You know what I mean? So do not follow. This is a perfect example of like why you don't follow people. So you can you can show love to people. You know what I'm saying? And you may, you, you may really, you know, 
be down with that person, but certain things you just don't do. And this is why I say you always just do your own research, trust your instincts, and you move to the beat of your own drum. I said that recently. Just move to the beat of your own drum. But if any of you guys have invested in that, let me know in the description. How was your experience? Did you get out before everything shit hit the fan? You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, let me know. How'd you feel about it? But I'm about to get off this thing, man. Shout out to everybody that came to come check your boy. I appreciate it, man. You already know. And like I said, I'm going to try to do these every Sunday. And I'm going to continue my weekly vlogs, man. Appreciate y'all support, man. Y'all stay up. Stay blessed.